Hi, Glenn. Hi, Sandra. Good morning. Yeah, the locals here, they take this very seriously. There's a lot going on in Long Beach. We want to show you this morning. Take a look. You can see some of those uh, big trucks out there on the beach. They're on the berm there. They've been fortifying this berm, but we've noticed that they're also taking sand from here and they're bringing it south. We know that, uh, again, Tropical Storm K isn't expected to make landfall, but uh, we are sure going to feel some of the remnants. And you can see as we walk down the street here um, along the beach, you can see what happened last night when the tide came in um, in the early hours this morning. Look at some of the debris already in the street here. There's still a little trickle of water. And if you look down here at this house, you can see all the sandbags. Uh, there was a crew there about 30 minutes ago uh, sandbagging that garage to make sure that uh, if the water should come back up again, that uh, it will prevent it from flooding into that garage. So again, uh, you can see some of the work, the piles of sand out here. Uh, there are concerns, as everyone's been talking about, about coastal flooding. Um, you can see, as we said, the high tide and what happened here this morning. Uh, coastal areas preparing for that possible flooding. We did speak to the National Weather Service uh, earlier this morning, and uh, they spoke about uh, what areas they expect to be hardest hit. Strongest impacts are going to be over Catalina Island because they're more susceptible to uh, a lot of wave energy coming up from the hurricane remnant also the winds associated with that. So they're gonna have some coastal flooding and some high surf conditions because of the big waves moving toward Catalina Island. Uh, you're looking at some pictures uh, from Puerto Vallarta yesterday when the storm rolled through there. Uh, the hurricane was downgraded to a tropical storm. Uh, that's good news, but again, we are still expected to feel uh, the remnants of that. The berm, you can see, eroded here last night along the peninsula uh, in Long Beach, and crews have been working around the clock out there to make sure that is reinforced to try to prevent the waters from coming up. Uh, we did speak to a woman who lives along the coast here, and she had this warning for others thinking about heading to the beach. Normally, where there's not waves, you're going to be seeing waves. So anybody who has children shouldn't be out by the beach, especially after 6 p.m., because last night there was about six-foot waves along Cunapero Beach, and this area got hit hard. So back here live, we can see those trucks out there dumping sand into that dump truck. We're told that uh, some of that sand is heading south to reinforce the berms here along the coastline. So far, no reports of any property damage. Uh, sandbags, we're told, are available at a parking lot at 72nd place. And again, Armando, if we can pan around again, you can see once again some of the debris from when high tide came in here um, early this morning. Uh, Glenn and Sandra, if that's any, in any indication, uh, we know that uh, perhaps when the, when the uh, rains do come, come north, uh, the locals down here may be expecting some flooding. We'll have more throughout the day for now. Back to you in Hollywood.